Hello. What I want to show you is how to edit multiple objects, create 3D effects on multiple objects at once, so you can apply this technique to your projects. I'm going to create a very simple rectangle, and what we're going to do is we're, color, we're going to color it blue. I'm going to draw just some basic shapes we're going to draw a circle and we're going to put down a diamond which is what I have here. Now the overall goal of this is I not only want to create a simultaneous 3D effect where I can change all objects at the same time but I want to create a type of bevel effect. I want them these objects to look like they are nicely put into the panel so it has like a bevel effect. This is going to cause us to make a duplicate of all of these objects in the position where we're going to want them. So we're going to put these here, we're going to put the square down here, we're going to put the circle right up here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight each one of these or select them and we're going to duplicate them. So duplicate. Now on each one of the top ones I'm going to color them a different color. So we're going to make this red, do the same thing here so it has the same uniform color. Now what I want to do is I want to have the panel, the blue panel, and these red objects to have a 3D effect and something that I can change simultaneously. So let's see what happens whenever we do this. I'm going to highlight just my red shapes and I'm going to highlight the base panel. So we're not highlighting these yet. Now I'm going to show you why here in just a minute. We're going to bring up the effects panel. We're going to go to 3D and we're going to tap on that. Now what this does is it puts them all in 3D, but what I can do is I can maneuver the light sources at the same time for all of them. So I'm going to change the specular and put that up all the way, but I'm going to put the shininess down so it's not nearly as shiny. So now all of these are changed at the same time but I want a little bit of depth or a little bit of a difference in some of these shapes. So I'm going to highlight the red circle and I'm just going to change the radius to where it protrudes a little bit further out. We're going to do the same thing with the diamond and we're going to do the same thing with the square. So now and you have to select all of them at once to be able to move your light source. If I move my light source, it's going to make sense where the light and the shadow occurs. So you can use this if you're making illustrations and you're wanting to change your light source of where, of where it's coming and make it uniformed across multiple objects. Now you can't group these objects. You can't put them in a group and then apply the 3D effect and hope to achieve the same result. It'll flatten all of these objects to where it looks like it's just plastered on. But I want you to notice something with all of this. What I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to create a type of bevel effect. Now there is the bevel and emboss option found in your effects, but I don't want to do that. This is where the whole thing of these other objects that I have created come into play. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make these invisible. Oops, let's try this. Keep that visible, but we're going to make all of the red objects invisible. Now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the main panel and we're going to highlight at first this square. Now I'm going to use one of my boolean operators and we're going to cut that square out. 
We're going to do the same thing with the oval, making sure that the square is highlighted. We're going to do the bevel, our Boolean operator, so we're going to get rid of that. And I think you're having an idea of where this is going to go and what it's going to look like. So now we're going to put these objects back visible. And as you can see, it has more of a bevel effect. Now, if you wanted to, you could do the bevel and emboss, but you are going to be dealing with the light sources on that side of the effects, making sure that everything works properly. Let me show you what it looks like whenever we adjust it. So if I move my light source around, notice how on the parts where it looks like it's beveled in, the light source moves and it makes sense. This would not work if you just did a separate bevel effects. So to add this bevel effect, if you wanted that, you have to add duplicates. Don't move the duplicates and then use your Boolean operators and highlight your panel where you're wanting the holes to be cut. That's all you're basically doing. So with this technique, you can use it towards any of your creations to add multiple 3D effects across um, multiple objects at the same time and have an included bevel effect. I hope this helps you with your projects. Later.